Welcome to this tutorial on positioning modes in Open Element. OE offers two positioning modes, Absolute and Relative. Let's start with the Absolute mode. Here is an Absolute mode page with five elements called Group of Elements. I select one and you can see that it is positioned 420 pixels from the top and 650 pixels from the left of their parent element, in this case, the page. These are absolute coordinates. If I move the small elements into the larger one, I can stack them or not. Their coordinates are in absolute mode from the upper left corner of the new parent element. When I switch to a browser view, we see that everything remains static compared to the upper left corner of the page. This display mode has the particularity of not allowing to select the automatic size on the element. On the other hand, it allows to use a height of 100% of the parent element. If I reduce the width of the containing group of elements, the small elements remain positioned in absolute coordinate relative to their containing group of element. Now, let's move on the relative mode review. I have a new page with five elements. Since the page is in absolute mode, I still have the same coordinate system. I change the positioning mode in the group of element switching it from absolute to relative. When I move a first element into the larger one, it automatically drops into the upper left corner. The element's position is relative to the neighborhood, the larger group of element in this case. To position it away from the parent's border, I have to use exterior margins or justify it using these buttons. I now give an automatic height to the containing group of element. I insert the next panel which goes where a red line appears, so I can place it on the same line or on the next line easily. I put them all in a single row and reduce the width of their container. The smaller panels will be placed on two, then three, then four lines depending on the available width. Let's go back to a single line. Since the positioning is relative, I can move the elements relative to each other, either by using the mouse to drag them to their new position, or by using the controls included in this little button at the bottom left of the element. I now place the small elements on two lines. The elements of a line can be justified left, right, center, top, or bottom using the buttons provided for this in the menu. The justification applies to all the elements of the line. When I move an element to a new line, the new line's justification applies. If I group the small panels into two new group of elements configured with relative mode, the transition can become smoother from one row of four to two rows of two and then to four rows of one. There we go. That sums up the manipulation of elements in relative mode and in absolute mode within open element. Thank you for watching this video.